Guys, we got ourselves a new gift today. What do we have here? This just arrived. An EVGA for the Win 3. So let's open this thing up, shall we? This was pre-opened from Mr. Thomas Tran sent this over. He checked the serial number for me because he ended up picking this up off somebody that was selling it locally to him. And he was nice enough to allow me to purchase it. I'm excited to have another one of these cards. Not gonna lie. It's way harder to do one-handed. Look at that, huh? I forgot how uh, how white this looked before you plug it in. Because if you could see this one right here, right? Look at how crazy the RGB is on that. Absolutely nuts. I believe it looks exactly like this when you unplug it. Man, I just got to get my hands on a 3080. So if anybody has uh, means to get one at a decent price, let me know. But uh, man, this is awesome. I'm so happy to have that. So plan is now I am going to throw one more card on this RebTech motherboard just to prove that you can get 830 series cards on a RebTech. That's my goal anyways. So let me set this GPU up onto this prototype tabletop mount that we created. Um, I'm gonna get a riser, I'll slap it on there. I apologize for the lighting. It's absolutely terrible in here, it's driving me insane. But let me, uh, let's get a riser, obviously from gprisers.com. Cause the studio lights suck. I forgot to put them way up there looking all over the world for them all right so i want to grab one of these beautiful risers sorry guys bear with me just gotta throw this riser on yeah my main goal here is to just you know prove that we can really get 830 series cards to register on a reb tech and I couldn't only bring you guys a video about 3D printers. That's just rude. All right. So, click this in. Nice and secure. Let's give this a uh, peel. But this is our prototype table mount. We actually redesigned this. I haven't released it yet in the store, but I will shortly. Um, it's actually a little skinnier on the bottom and there's no more riser indent because all risers are different. So it was either we made it the entire length across or we just dropped the entire bed. So it didn't really make much sense not to drop the bed. So yeah, let me get a screw so I can screw this in. All right. I just threw a screw in there just to uh, make sure it didn't tip side to side. But now let's go join this with the other cards on that RebTech board over there. Let's put this right here because obviously I want to get this thing hashing. And then once... Um, once I get this up and running, I am going to be disassembling this entire rig um, slowly, not all at once. I'm going to take one of those 3060s and I'm going to put it in this rig right here in my main computer just because that 3060 Ti by uh, Gigabyte, the Aorus, that gets uh, 60, 62 mega hash. So I could throw that right in here and it doesn't matter what PCIe slot it's on or I could stick it on the RebTech. On this motherboard, the B450F Gaming has a 16 slot, an 8 slot, and then a 4 slot. All three of them look like 16x slots, but only two of them are going to work for the 3060s to get full hash rate. So 
that's what I'm gonna do there. One card there, two cards there. I'll have three or so left over. Yeah, I'll have three left over because one's a 3070. So I'll have three 3060s left over and I'm gonna have to figure out how to incorporate those on another motherboard. Um, I actually do have a few other things lined up. I do have this TB3060 that just came in. This I thought was going to be a motherboard to um, be able to put all the 3060s on, but clearly I was wrong. There's only one 16X slot on that. And then I got a new computer tower. So I might just get another motherboard and build an entire another PC for the wife. I don't know, haven't decided. She's gonna bother me once she sees this video though. I know that's coming. So, either way, that's my thoughts there. But, um, I forgot, I got another package. This is also what I've been waiting for. This package is actually from Parallel Miner. I totally forgot I needed this stuff. So I got a bunch of breakout boards. Probably way more than I thought I got. Look at this, and then I got a bunch of uh, six pin to six pin. So, I actually need a couple of these. We have two six pin by uh, a six pin male by six pin female cables, extensions basically. And then I got a couple six pin male by six pin male. And then I have a splitter. So I'm gonna use the splitter on the card. I'm going to put one of these to the PCIe riser and I'm going to put one of these to feed the back side of this to split to the card because the 3070 is two 8 pins so that's all I need um, and like I said this thing isn't going to be up and running too long alright so let me throw all this together on the 3070 and get this going real quick I'll be back in a second alright so we have the two cables one going up to the PCIe riser, we have one coming up to a splitter on top of the card. Um, like I said, this is going to be temporary. I'm not going to leave this like this. We're actually going to be very close to maxing out this server PSU. Um, collectively, these cards, I'd say around 900-ish watts. And then this one's going to add at least 150 or so. Maybe 120, 150 around there. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be well over 1,000 and that can only do 1200 so um, it does 1200 because it's feeding off 240 so it's gonna be pretty loud when it turns on uh, I'm only gonna leave this on for a few minutes I just want to make sure that the 23070s and the 63060s will work on that single Rebtech board all right just so you guys can see we have eight 30 series cards on one Rebtech motherboard. So we have two 3070s and six 3060s, as you can see. But there is eight 30 series NVIDIA cards on one Rebtech motherboard. All right, so this has been up and running. I just uh, did a force upgrade and reboot. The system is working perfectly, so I can't really complain. And to be honest, it's really not that loud. I'm kind of surprised. So come back over to my Hive OS you can see everything's still running those 3060s are only getting 25 26 almost mega hash uh, the 3070s are getting 61 and a little over maybe um, so more or less we need to change this number this number on the 3060 is not acceptable I'm gonna have to put it in the in the 16x slot or the 8x slot so that's gonna be my plan super pumped about that rig and uh, yeah I can't wait to throw the 30 series in there as always I appreciate you guys for watching please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe stay safe and I'll see you guys next time